This programme contains strong language and sexual references from the outset and throughout. So obviously I haven't really seen you. I've not seen you at all. I mean, I have had a roller coaster. With? The roller coaster having me break off. Right, so can we go through? So right, let's go through it. Right? The ex okay. is gone. The ex has gone out the life. And it killed us that Nathan. Like, yeah. how bad was it? Oh God, you were worse than me. You were it like, was horrible. It was awful. People don't realise, like, how hard it is to get over just a heartbreak. It's so pathetic it's, they're like... It's like, say if you had toothache or you had a headache, you can take a tablet. When you, when you have your heart broken, there's nothing you can do. The only thing that mends that is space and time. Yeah, I do wish there was a tablet that would just take that pain oh, away. Because then everyone think, would be like, thank yep. you. Yep. Oh my God. I just think, like, lately something's happened where I've became such a different person, eh? What do you mean? When I turned 30, something clicked in as well. I was like, right. Sort your fucking cell out. You need to stop moping around, thinking about another boy. Stop Live for yourself. Exactly, I stopped talking about Jay as much, and now I just feel like the most strongest person ever. I think, importantly for me, I could focus on my career. And your and house. my business, and my house. So it's just been a blessing. I think you've just got to look at something to focus on. It's so nice to see Sophie in such a good place, especially everything that she's been through with her ex. She's literally living her best life. Sit and think, right? When I think of all of you, I've lived in a house with every single one of you. Yeah. We used to all go and get drunk, get in the hot tub, nick each other's clothes, and now Gary's had a baby. Oh. Mm. Aaron's about to have a baby. You've just bought a house. Holly's engaged. And so Molly's married, just and had a baby. Molly's just had a baby. Mad. Chatting with Nathan, I finally realised that everybody has changed. Like we actually are grown up. Here is to you, your new house to being single, to literally living our best fucking life. Buying me first house has been such a good distraction and a step in the right direction to get me life back on track. So this is my house. Sophie's never been a homeowner. She's either lived in the Jordy house or lived at her dad's. So getting a property of her own is a massive thing. Right. Is this about the ensuite then? This is a wet room, Nathan. Whoa, that's sick, that. Oh, look at that, Nathan. Oh. I can imagine you actually sat here having lazy showers. Thought about it all, haven't we? It's quite posh, isn't it? It's quite posh, yeah. Every girl needs a seat in the shower. It's perfect for getting in all them angles when it comes to shaving. Shh, all off. Right, next room. So this is my living room. This area is going to be the grand piano. Fuck off. You'll arrive and I'll be like, oh, Nathan, I'll play my piano. And I'll be like, doo -doo -doo. Listen, you're not Beethoven. In school, actually, did I take music? Oh, my God, I think I took music for a GCSE. Did I? This is, like, basically a building site at the minute. It's oh, just, yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of work to do in the house, but when it's finished, I guarantee this place will be amazing, and I can't wait to actually stay over. The mirror's gonna go here, and this okay. is, like, where the selfies are gonna be. Oh, God, I'm coming, I'm coming over here to do my spawns. <laughs> I am really chuffed of how the house has worked out. It is an actual Geordie girl's dream. I mean, I've got gold taps, I've got a gold shower. I am a homeowner. Nobody can take this from me, and that is the best feeling ever. I just feel so proud of myself to come this far. Like, I dreamt of a house like this. It was like the first time I went and started looking for a house was obviously months ago with Jay. Yeah. And then, obviously, it all went tits up. So I think, like, the past few months, I've been trying to build this house, but then still I'm a bit like, oh, like, yeah. he was supposed to be around right now. But then I finally got to a place now where I'm like, right, I'm over the break up and I finally got to the spot in my life and I never thought I'd get here where I'm actually content. They say what doesn't kill you makes you stronger and that is so true because I'm finally in such a good, happy place and I am just on fire. I'm killing it. So you're officially an adult now. I never thought I'd feel like this. <laughs> I am officially, officially an adult. Officially an adult. Are you proud so of your daughter that I've got up. this house? I am so proud. I'm bursting with proud. Proud. Pride. Pride, man. <laughs> Give you credit, darling. And I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud of what she's achieved and the strong person that she's become. I love you, Sophie. Mm. There's always a silver lining, no matter what you go through. And there's always a happy ending.
and this is my happy ending. Hey guys, it's Marnie here. If you want more Geordie OJ videos like this one, then don't forget to like and subscribe now. What are you waiting for?